video, you are joined by me, Jay. And me, Chris. And it's On The Ball episode... Nine. Nine, there we go, I totally knew what it was. We're back together, it's been ages. It has. Well, it hasn't been ages, but me being a bit of a gobshite lost all the footage on my camera. Yeah, we did uh, We did do quite a good show at the library, didn't we? we that was good fun, that one, yeah. yeah. Sat on the floor, but, <laughs> because uh... there, was no, there wasn't three chairs, and the great gig was with us. But... Nevertheless, we are back and we're going to start with a bit of appeal because we are dropping on questions, guys, and we really want as many questions as possible so we can film this. One, make it a longer video for you guys getting some painting in. Two, make it much more fun and interact with you guys. And three, if we've got more questions, we can do them more often. Yes. So, I'm, I'm just laughing at the heart behind this. This is going to look good <laughs> between the two of us. Oh, uh, someone's going to make a meme out of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, guys, please do comment. We we know we've been a bit slack over the Christmas period and coming into the new year. Vengeance is did. keeping us busy. Vengeance, yes, has been much, much, massive. Big Shall we take a minute to say thank massive, you? Massive, massive thank you, guys. We now, as you'll probably know, 128, 128 people sold out up in one event. And we've got a couple of reserves. Whoa, it's going to be huge. We've got Matt Hart playing, we've we got Rich Loxon playing, Jamie we've got we've got Jamie P and the playtesters playing, yeah. and we're not playing. <laughs> I'm gutted, yeah. I think, uh, uh, we're missing out, but it's going to be worth it and we're going to bring a very good show. So if anyone else wants to get on the reserves list, get in touch. If you even fancy popping down, just come down, it's totally free. Yeah. Just come and enjoy being there for the weekend and have some fun. We've also got some cool stuff planned for the Saturday night, haven't we? But uh, we have. We're going to reveal that, I think, in a vengeance video soon. Yeah, we'll have some updates coming for you guys, so keep tuned uh, for those when they come out. Absolutely. So, should we jump in? Do you want to yeah. do the first question? So, the first question is from Fat Piranha. Mm. So it's, Johnny Cannon. It's Johnny Cannon. I was actually at Johnny's yesterday. I did a bit of a gaming day with him yesterday. Um, did you crush it? Uh, no, we had a very close game. Which means um, he crushed you. Which means he beat me. Yeah, he, was <laughs> he, he was running a new team, which I won't divulge because I think he might want to keep it as a surprise for the upcoming tournament at bonus time. Uh, so, um, oh, we're going to bonus time. We are going to bonus time, Ooh. so we'll see it. Uh, so I'll let you in. I'm playing the in the tournament. <laughs> This looks um, rare. Yeah, he beat my fish. He beat my fish 12 8. Uh, I do put it down to missing a goal, which is always pivotal in a fish team. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, that was a great day. Reese and uh, Johnny were there. So Both great guys. Too. What are you taking to bonus time? I think I might be running Veteran Rage because he will be legal <gasps> bon, bon, at bon, so that point. Veteran Rage! Up and King Rage, that. are you going to cosplay it again? Uh, I may even wear my hat. Not sure whether I'm going to go full on, um, full on Mac and Anorak, whatever he's wearing. Did you see that Union team from Facebook that I, I sent you? Someone's put a top well, hat on. <laughs> even Coins got one. That was it's awesome. Amazing. I am so really yeah. good. I think for bonus time, I may be taking fish. Yeah, fish. But a little bit of me is like alchemist, but I've not played them enough, so probably fish. Because I'm going to be honest, I want to try and win the event. Because I'm getting so much stick. Well, I'll just I'll put it out there now. I'm thinking that for me, Veteran Rage is hilarious and really great to play, but I'm not sure he's particularly great tournament wise. He's very, very easy to shut down. One inch melee, you can't touch the majority of captains with the unpredictable movements and things, and Honor's responsive play, you can get nowhere near any of them. But on the flip side, once he starts hitting someone, there's never much. Yeah, I just <laughs> with, with, with Blackheart, I think he can. He can. I never had a trouble killing stuff with Blackheart. So Rage kind of gives me an answer to a problem I never had. And Blackheart yeah. can actually score as well, which I'm not sure. Rage so is Rage or Blackheart? Blackheart for me. But Blackheart I, for I'm you. Interesting. Enough. I'm not playing um, enough for me. I think we should do a separate video. We will. What we'll, we should do, I think we'll do for you guys. We'll do, do a like season two. We'll do, well, what, let's do. We can. We can do it monthly. So we'll do like the February releases. We'll do Rage and Pinvice uh -huh. in one video. Okay, yeah. Cool, so we'll do that soon. We might even record it today. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we've got a full day of recording, guys, so hopefully we'll get a couple of videos out. Yeah, sounds good. So, anyway. First question. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, with Vengeance looming a couple of months away, do you think you'll see a shift in how tournaments will be run or organised to cope with ever-increasing love and numbers of participants for this game that is Ball of Guild? So, are Ball we going to see a change? Yes, we are. Are we? I think because at the moment, <clears throat> I've, I've said this for a while, it's a great place to be, but the 32-man events are a tricky little spot because it's five rounds, yeah. which is either one very long day, which most people are finding is a bit too much at the moment. Yeah, I do. I do it's too. one very, very long day, especially if you've got to travel. You've got like 10 hours on the clock, then breaks and lunch, you're there. Like it, It's a very long taxing day. Um, but the flip side is five rounds over two days is a little bit padded out. 
So I think once the tournament scene can naturally be, where all the events are over 32, so in the 32 to 64 bracket, and you've got six rounds, it will naturally become, a t events will become a two day thing. Now I know I, the beauty of Guild Ball is that, it's, it's nice to be able to go and have a one day event, yeah. but the two day events are letting you get all those games in, in a much less stressful, like, how many games have you lost like late tournament due to fatigue? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, a massive it's endurance thing at the moment, so I do think this year, because the game is blowing up, I think Vengeance has proven that as well, yeah. um, I think this year you're going to see the shift go from one day events to two day events, purely due to the amount of participants. Agreed. And I think that there'll probably be more sort of capped at sixteen man one day events for four rounds. You could do, you could do or two 30, sixteen. Yes, two yeah. in one day. Um, that that that's a good point. You could have two sixteen man tournaments running next to each other, yeah. and you or and maybe the last round you could. You, it's so, not so probably something not to think of on the cuff, but there are ways around it. But I do think the shift will move from one day to two day, which I am looking forward to because. In the Hobbit, I've always done two-day events. Yeah, okay. Um, so what, what, was, what was Malifaux? Like? Malifaux was uh, it was a mixture, to be fair, but mm -hmm. um, I think quite a lot of people preferred one day. As, mm -hmm. it's, it's just hard to get. The one day is are easy because we've all got kids and lives and partners. But the the thing I loved about the two days is yes, I probably couldn't go to as many, but it's the social aspect which I'm loving in Guild Ball yes. as well. Like you'd finish day one, it's you'd, the Saturday you'd, night you'd probably stuff. find out who your opponent is first game day two. You could have a bit of banter. Yeah. You could go and have some food and a couple of drinks, and the the community feel, which I really love because it's echoing over into Guild Ball, is is my best part of the tournament. The game is sort of secondary to that. Yeah. So I'm hoping it does go to two day, and we can all have some crazy weekends. Um, and touching on, do you think um, a spin off of that question? Do you think it's going to change um, the sort of the TOs and the quality of TOs of how much sort of attention they're going to have to put in for 128 man? Like yeah. tie break. We know we've had a couple of issues with tie break. Yeah. But ensuring that. All of that runs smoothly. Yeah, it's going to take I, a lot more. Yeah, the thing is, so obviously your pundits are running the events and stuff. And terrain, um, things like that. Yeah, yeah. to, to Gilball Marine Plastic terrain, which could be a big help. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the bigger the events get, you can't just have like for Skaldic, for example, it was me and Jamie, and that was quite relaxed. We could manage 32 people, but when you hit 6,428, like we're, we're currently for vengeance in the process of figuring out exactly who is doing what on the weekend, how many referees we need, yeah. people who are willing, things like that. It really does, like, the, the, the time investment of people who are going to run rather than play in the event will, will start growing. Because if you've got, like at Vengeance, we've got 64 tables at all times, like, craziness. So we're probably going to want a guy dedicated to data entry, yeah. just doing data entry and making sure that's all on point. We're going to want a guy just on logistics, making sure everyone's happy, everything's yeah, ticking over, right. walking around, People have got what they want, giving them like a user experience and during the weekend. And then you need your referees. Yeah. You're going to need a guy up near the top tables, yeah. for obvious reasons, and you're going to need a couple more, because 64 the is The number of questions you might and, and the problem is, at the moment, at tournaments, the, the number of rules queries and stuff have been relatively low. Most people know what's going on. There's mm. not been a huge amount of errata and things and, and sticky situations. However... You have to be prepared that there will be a number of questions at once. You can't rely on the fact that everybody's going to get exactly like yeah. like at Skaldic. There were times where you would have like a mad half an hour just flying around doing rules screws. We've got four times the players <laughs> of Skaldic, like so it's going to be crazy. So the thing is as well, if you've got rules screws and you've got to pause your clock, yeah. you want to be able to find a referee Quick. quite quickly, yeah. and he can be with you with a rule book and you can work through it, so we're not slowing games down. So yeah, I do think there's going to be a change this year. And I think we're going to, at Vengeance, we're going to make a point of being quite visible. Yep. Uh, so we're going to have bright t-shirts on, we're going to play really obvious I say pink, electric really pink nice. and segways. <laughs> yeah. I'm going with the segue, that was cool. Might be a bit of a squeeze to get around the tables. But. Yeah. Okay, uh, thanks for that, Johnny. Next, he's got another question. Do you see the Hunters making a ripple in the current guild meta, as in becoming one of the more popular played guilds? Yep. Keep up the great work, Lance, and tell Chris to give me them goddamn white dice. Cheers, buddy. The white <laughs> dice are ours. We will talk about that later. Um, <laughs> I think this summer, Hunters are going to be massive. So, I'm not going to play the Hunters. This is like quite controversial. And the reason I'm not going to play the Hunters, I can reference back to when I first got in the game. When I got into Guild Ball, I really loved the fish. Okay. But I've only just started playing the fish, and that is because everybody, everybody playing. was playing the fish. Yeah. So, it... I didn't want to play a team and just be playing mirror matches or play the team I'm playing against all the time. Yeah. So in our local meta, fish were huge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let 
I am very excited by them, but I'm going to let everyone else play them, and they are going to be big. I think you'll see 128 man. I reckon you'll see 30 Hunters teams at Vengeance, I'm calling really? it. Really? Oh. They, think about it, they are the first brand new to Guild, like we've since got, release. We've since got I, a lot of slow painters in this hobby. Yeah, but a month. Really? Yeah. I, I think we'll... Like, Johnny we'll Cannon can't paint a mascot in a month, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm calling now, I reckon we'll see 10. Ten. I reckon thirty. I think we'll see ten or less. We'll get um, Giblin's opinion on this. And um, but I do think I think they'll be really popular, and I'm sh I think that um, I think that they'll be balanced very well, so that they will they work. They're going to fit right. They'll, they'll yeah, do, yeah. And they'll do different things. I'm assuming. So mm -hmm. it'll be interesting. It's going to be interesting, it but I reckon. Yeah, I reckon pure because we know so little about them. I reckon purely off the fact that they are the brand new toy, and we've not had a brand new guild since the game released effectively, it's just going to blow up. So I reckon you're going to see a butt ton of Hunters. Are we going to see a Hunters win the tournament with Vengeance? Who knows? Is Steve That'd Newton, be Steve Newton <laughs> <laughs> Why hasn't he gone for the bounty yet? There's a yeah. question. Uh, <laughs> somebody get the bounty! Um, I don't know, but it's interesting to see. But anyway, cheers Johnny, we love hearing from you man. Uh, and uh, Cheers. Oh, Next I'm question really, is from really. Dries Haymoots. Uh, <laughs> apologies if I've got that wrong. Uh, and he says, hi, if they would decide to make Guild Ball the movie and they would cast you, yeah, they would. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what character would you like to play? Well, obviously, I see myself as a bit of a bore. Oh. No? Yeah, no, I can... I can really? I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. need to go through the training regime. All right. You tell me who I'd be, and I'll tell you who you'd be. Oh. We're going to need a sex to think about well, this. We'll and we'll tell... No, we'll say... So you want to be bore. But I'll tell you who you actually yeah, okay, are. Okay. Uh, and I would want to be. <laughs> <laughs> I know who you are. It's actually quite a compliment. I'm going to say you're Flint. Oh, that's nice. And not because of his sexual preferences. That's how I look. <laughs> so, I'm not sure who I'd, want, I'd actually want to be. Flint's not a bad one. Quite mm. like Flint. He's got gangly legs and he runs a lot. Gang. <laughs> Fits. Gangly legs. <laughs> oh, yours is a hard one. Well, I'm going to have to say. Yeah, you're going to have to be Avarice. Yeah! <laughs> Avarice and Greed. Just well, why don't I be Avarice and you be Greed? Yeah, in my little um, baby thing. On the and floor. there's the second meme that we're going to get made from this video. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go with Avarice and Greed. I like that. That'd be funny. Yeah, so yeah. cheers, Drives, for the question. Please ask again next week. It's good to hear from you, man. Uh, the Old Buzzard is Who is the Old Buzzard? Um, I know this. He it is... I'm not sure who... Is this not one of the... Um... Who are you? Not one of the Guild Wars tonight. No, I don't know. So. Anyway, not sure, but uh, he's a common name of seen around a lot. Yes. Uh, thanks for the reply about Bone Saw. You're welcome. I painted him up, and I'm really pleased with the result. Uh, post a um, post a link to to any. Yeah, stick it in Guild Ball Informer as well. Oh, yeah, let's have a look on the Facebook group so we can see. Mm -hmm. Unless you probably have already, and we're just being ignorant. But yeah, I will play Bone Saw at the Do in Sheffield in March. Oh, we're uh, going. Don't expect to win as I've not played much, as there are too many other games that my mates want to play. <laughs> I don't get one night with this crazy stuff. Sorry, not a question, just a comment. Okay, so, we're going we'll to that, mate. Yeah, we'll meet you, we'll look forward to meeting you. We'll see you at the outpost. In and March. I'm hoping that when I do see our console plays, it's not by you smashing me. <laughs> I, honestly, I was looking, I, I'm looking potentially um, at getting rid of my morticians, but I was looking at them this morning and just putting them all out on the table and putting bone saw next to the ball. <laughs> 50 mil bait is still there. Cool. It's amazing. <laughs> it's huge. I could really see some fun playing with mm. them. Um, so thanks for the comment. Uh, next question, or next comment. It's Ian Mali! Uh, Femme Fatale team, you forgot Gutter and Vitro. I know. That's shameful, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you get a bit of stick about this. Femme yeah, Fatale I know. You did it off the cuff, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, Apologies for the quality of the last on the ball. It was very much, oh, we've lost the footage. We, we need to get it out get like out right it. now. And it was like, I've got to pick my boy up from school in half an hour. Speed yeah, filming. Yeah. Go, go, go. So apologies. But yes, they would absolutely both be in <laughs> Although you had a power game, so you're all of a fluffy. I love Vitriol, though. Just for the Vitriol's my girl. She's my favourite female Vitriol. character in the game. Yeah, she's my girl. She's your favourite character in the game, probably, behind that list. Yeah, angry. <laughs> Come on, she's third. <laughs> well, um, cheers, Ian. Next up, we've got Jesse H. Jesse H. What do you find better practice for competitive play or an upcoming tournament? Playing your chosen team as much as possible or using other teams to see their capabilities or doing both somewhere in the middle? Interesting this, because we, we talk, I talk about this a lot because I team hop like you wouldn't believe. I will play, if I play eight games, I will probably use all eight teams. 
yeah. in those eight games. And one thing I'm trying to do it's is rein it in because I am feeling that in competitive play. I don't like you. See, a lot of the best players when they're doing things, they know their playbooks. Yeah. They know exactly what they need to hit and trigger. I'm having to reference my card. One, it slows you down, and two, you're not as sharp as you should be. So I think if you're looking, getting ready for competitive play. Um, play the team you're going to use as much as you can, and try and play a variety of opponents. Yeah, I would. Um, yeah, I would start by nailing your own team. Once you've got that down, then yeah, maybe try out other teams and stuff. But definitely nail your own team first. I guess, like we said, sort of jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. Uh, in going to win tournaments. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would play more. I would also encourage what I've done a couple of times is I think not key for how the games are actually going to go in the long run, but just putting your you at, at um, more, more peace and putting you um, less stressed is to run through the first turn um, quite a few times. If you're, if you're quite new to a team, just yeah, nail yeah. that first turn. See where you're going to do, where you're going to position people, how you could potentially get I some momentum. I think the end of turn one and then turn two is the biggest turn in the game. Yeah. So setting up turn one for, because I, I genuinely think turn two is the most pivotal turn in the game. Well, I think learning out again, like you said, getting getting your pieces where they need to be. Turn one is key to success. Get really. get a good get a good setup. What you're going to do if you receive the ball, turn one. What you're going to do if you don't receive the ball, and get that nailed quick. Don't you leave can, anyone you can, exposed. You can ping that out yeah. in the tournament, and then you're comfortable. You're ready for the next stage. Yeah, Rather yeah. than you know getting all nervous with what you do in turn one and getting all these leaves. Mm. So yeah, cheers for the question. But next up we have Pat Giles. I was chatting to Pat Giles last night. Pat seems like he is Pat. awesome. He chats to me a lot. Man. We love you, Pat. And he looks oh, like wow. he loves us. <laughs> uh, wicked. I, I love this. Well. So when we said we thought we had, we didn't have as many questions. I think <laughs> Pat's got... covered us. Yeah, he's good. So it was me who asked you to create a new character play slash trait from episode oh, seven. There you go. Get on it. Okay. I still haven't. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Pat. But Chris. You, you come up with some, didn't you? Uh, I did. Um, I can't remember the details now. I did, I did have it nailed down to how many influence it would cost, the ranges and all that sort of stuff, but I've, I had it on a piece of paper which I've lost, so I'll just briefly run through them. I had two. The first one, I can't even remember what I was calling it, but it was the ability to swap a character play with, an, with another uh, enemy model. But then that but model, then that model that swaps model. your character play, so they then get the ability uh, in a future turn to swap a, an ability a character play with their ability, so it's basically like a round robin of swapping yeah, abilities. Yeah, so, so it, it, if Chris's character did it to Hoist, Hoist would then have that ability to do it to Glutter, but else. then do it to... Yeah, with Hoist. a caveat that you yeah. can't do it to the players that have already done it. Yeah. So like that I would, would I would nuts. steal Grayscales is uh, where they go, and then Grayscales would be able to steal Super Siding Blow, oh, oh. and then yeah. Gutter would, you know, so that would be quite cool. And then the second one was, was simply called NDA. And it fits in NBA, with your, that's your with my, uh, my pundit And it stuff, basically yeah. it shuts down another model's character play, so you can, if you get it off on a character, they can't use that character play for the turn. Yep. So you could sort of, that'd be quite cool. And you could do it on captains, so you could you could stop Midas doing true replication for a oh, turn. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, uh, or oh, stop gutter siding blow when she's set up in a lovely position to do it. It would be, it would be no, you're not doing it this seriously <laughs> nuisance. So cheers for that one. And next he says, seen a couple of threads of which play is best to steal with Midas, but I would like to hear your opinions on the matter. Um, I think it's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap. Um, so for me, I mean, there's some obvious ones that people discuss all the time. It's Scything a, blow. Scything blow. It Leaks the Kraken. Yeah. Fang Tooth Unleashed. Yeah. So, no masking. So there's kind of two. There's there's two sides to it. There's either do you want to, do you have Midas in mind to be your damage dealer for the game, and if so, then Scything Blow, unmasking what you've said. Release the Kraken. Stuff that really. The thing with those is though, it's very rare. Apart that, from me, because I'm. That really somebody puts them. We'll the put table them page. across yeah. the table from yeah. Sam Page. Sam Page was messaging me the weekend, and he was like, "Oh, I'm on three wins," and I was like, "Yes, yeah, cool." And then he's like, "Oh, I'm playing Alchemist, and I've just put him down." I was like, "Oh, you've lost." <laughs> but yeah, getting like it's very rare you are given one of those because Midas will just table you in a couple of turns. Um, and then and the, the less so effective ones, which are useful for taking for scoring, would be obviously where they go or super, super shot. shot. So they're they're kind of seen as the good ones. I have seen. Uh, I have thought about a couple of times stealing things like concussion, 
uh, which would be quite good, but you're kind of trading... Three hit. If, if he runs into Obulus and just... uses seven to take seven influence off Obulus, it, is, it's, it sounds good, it's a bit of a niche, but you're kind of using your whole turn as a captain to shut down to Nullifying them. Obulus would be nice. <laughs> but his mind is no, yeah, yeah, important it, for yeah, Alchemist. It's not, um, it's not up there. I think you're right. If it goes to damage, you're looking at... Scything blow, uh, release the Kraken, the unmasking, fine tooth unleashed. If you're going to go football, you want where they go, super shot, things like that. Uh, and as a bit of a spoiler, depending on when this comes out, I've just really, I've just filmed a match report with James Clark, uh, and I stole Tenderizer's Ground Pound. Oh my! With my God. <laughs> So wait to see the video that's coming out soon. The oh, number yeah. three match report uh, in the channel, and you'll see how that went. So you will be a good one to steal a shutout. Sure, I'll be good. There's, there's lots of really understated ones that I think we've been Do you know what I like? Well, smelling salts. Smelling salts might Maybe not with mine, so I'm thinking more with hoist now. Well, I'm thinking, like, if you want to get, uh, yeah, that'd be quite good, but if you want to get more, with Midas, a more of a um, conditioned game, if, if somebody uh, plays Hemlock, you could steal the Nauseous Blast to put nauseous out, blast, two put poison, out poison, yeah. Yeah, or if somebody works. puts Mercury or Stoker against you, you could steal mm. the flame. Again, I think with Midas I wouldn't do that just because of the five cost. Uh, with Hoist, it's very different for me. I, I, there are lower down plays that I'd like, like you say, like smelling salts and things like that. But it's interesting. Let us know what you think, guys, uh, Pat included. And then but I do think it's a trap. I just want to say, it's I think I challenge people that play Midas is don't steal anything with true replication and see if you can run him without because he is awesome without. He is awesome. So, yeah. Okay, now that you have chosen your all female team and probably own all the models, I think we do, don't we? We're both hoarders of Guild Ball models. Um, you should totally challenge Chris to play a game and he needs to take an all-female team and the loser has to wear a dress on the next On The Ball episode. So, I'm quite happy to play the game. The dress, on the other hand, not so much. Um, yeah. I think uh, you'd quite enjoy it. Yeah, I'd be... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't lose the game, though, so it's kind of a move. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but I do, yeah, we should... Challenge play. accepted. We'll, we'll film, but we're both going to have to use Honor. No, we? we don't. Well, that's the other captain, female captain. Yeah, so we, we do. Have to use it. <laughs> you know, well, we can wait till Smoke's out and we'll do it then. I think Smoke's a dude. Smoke's a female. Is it? Yeah. It, it is known. It is known. It was on Guild Wars tonight. Uh, that oh, I missed it on the way. It is definitely known. Smoke is. is Scalpel? Scalpel. She's a bird. She's a bird. She's so there are, there are a couple of. How man can we? She's a bird. There are a couple of birds <laughs> coming. We can mash it over. But yeah, we'll definitely do, we'll do that in the future. Once we get a really good set of match reports out and on the channel, we can start doing daft and fun ones yeah. like All Big Guy or yeah. just. All female, we so we're gonna battle armor after that. Uh, 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 since you guys seem to love the fish at the moment, who would you cast celebrity wise as a live action version of the fish? Uh, I'm rubbish at this. is dead easy, right? Um, Shark would be, oh, I don't know, Grace Girls would be Bruce Willis because it's the first bald person who sprung to Shark's mind. me. <laughs> Well, that's what you should have said. I don't want to be Flint, I want to be Shark. <laughs> as in, <laughs> uh, who would Shark be? Who could be Shark? Um, Who's blonde with like long, <laughs> long blonde hair? That's oh, Leonardo DiCaprio Wicks. could do it. No, he's not going to get an Oscar for Guild Ball the movie. I know he's dying to get one, but he won't get one. He's got one now. No, he hasn't. For, um, the Oscars on the he's Baftas. He got, he got the Baftas for um, Revenant. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? He'll never actually win one, but he'll get like a lifetime achievement. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're not talking about the that. Princess that's right. one. The I'd, fourth place person. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, give it. Yeah, no, no, Who um, can play Shark? Um, I don't know. Oh, I'll tell you if you've got a Shark. Um, Aidan Turner. He played Feely in the Hobbit films and then he played Poldark. Oh, what about Orlando Bloom? When he's, he, yeah, he yeah, yeah, regular. Yeah, yeah, let's go yeah. Orlando Bloom and Shark. We've got. Bruce Willis is great scales. Yeah. Um, salt would be the first otter they had in the zoo because no one cares about it. Yeah. Um, Angel. Ooh, Angel. Uh, who's the Hunger Game girl? Good choice, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. Good call. Uh, Kraken. Well, she could be Simon though. She's probably better Simon. No, let's leave her as Angel. Okay. Uh, Kraken. Kraken. Um. <laughs> the Rock. The rock. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Ah, let's leave it at that. We'll stick with them for now, I think, because it'll get too my brain alert yeah. too much. But I there mean, you go. There's a start of fish team, we'll as celebrities. Um, 
Do you guys plan on continuing your Meet the Series as new players come out? We briefly talked about it on Facebook. I would lo totally love to see that, along with the updated errata on the old cards as well. Well, we're filming a Meet, we're hoping to film a Meet the today, if we get yeah. time. We're going to do Meet. Alchemist. Either we need to get Meet the Alchemist, yeah. I'm getting a lot of stick on that one. Um, Meet the Alchemist today. And we have spoke about this a few times. Like we, We've talked about doing, like, we could do season two, all the new players. Season two, the new captains. Season yeah. two, the veterans. X, Y, and Z. Um, I think, I think we, we're going to work on getting the, the, the core meet the. Yeah, I, will, I think we could just do a one a one off meet a season two meet the series. So, what's interesting is then, if we film Meet the Alchemist today, should we leave Venin out? I would. I or would. should we just let Venin duplicate for what it's worth? Um, we may as well put him in because he's current, isn't he? He needs to be in there now. But we didn't do, yeah, we didn't do. Yeah, season true, two but that's because of the time it's filmed. Okay, we could just do meet the as they are at this point, and then yeah. add on any we haven't done in the season two. Yeah, yet. so we'll, we'll figure that out. But yes, we're going to try and cover everything because it's quite popular. The meet the series, yeah, it seems to be. Yeah, uh, in competitive play, what are the best guild plots to be taking, and when is the best time to use them? Right away or save it? Ah, uh, so I'll talk about my fish because they're what I've used competitively. Knee slider is my best friend because it basically means first activation, shark can go, usually score a goal, and if he's quick for it, slide all the way back to his own team, which is lovely. Yeah. Uh, the other one I like, totally giving away my tactics here, is man down. Is it man down? Yeah, the one way. Right? No, not man down, I'm lying. Um, sideline repairs. Where it comes back like, on. So on if I don't right? get knee slider, as long as I get sideline repairs, I'm happy because I'll still throw him up and let him score the goal. Get killed. And then he will get murdered, but in the maintenance phase, he'll come on from the halfway line and with six influence, again, He's Shark good. should score from anywhere. And then it's like, okay, I mean, yeah, I've lost a player, but I, I'm likely eight VPs up at the start of turn two. Yeah. So those are some of my favorite. And uh, just because it makes you want to flip the table, don't touch the hair. I think, Do you yeah. remember the old don't touch the hair? Which was before, so it was like, I charge you, see you later. That's <laughs> awful. Yeah, but don't touch the hair, it's a tough one. I think it completely against. depends on what teams you play. It does, like some, like the ones I've mentioned very much suit uh, in and out football team. And for me actually, it more determined, what, it's the team that I'm playing against that determines usually what I take, rather yeah. than what I want myself, um, with the union especially, I'm looking at, is the team I'm playing going to score first? If they have the fish, then I'll take the two that, mm. if I have them, the two that are vengeance for scoring a goal. You want the and, concede and the first goal, plus two influence, yeah. Influence yeah. Influence yeah. Influence yeah. Influence the names influence. Them, I know what they do. Yeah. Um, um, so it, it definitely does depend, but don't touch the hair, it's key. And then his next point about when do you play them. For me, I a couple of times I've tried to save them, doesn't but, work. But, it, but I feel like then the opportunity never comes again. If so, if, it, if it pops up and it's beneficial, just do just it. Do it yeah. Just literally do it because I, me personally, I, we've actually had bendy boards make us a little stand. So my plot and Ed Church, um, was it Ed Churchman? Yeah, Ed Churchman made mm -hmm. one as well. So my plot cards are stood up facing me because otherwise I forget about them. Um, but yeah, get them in there, get them used. There's no point having them if you're not. And obviously, them. some of them like concede the first goal. You can't save that. You've got to yeah. play it as it, when yeah. it happens. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, what kind of plays and traits do you want to see in the Hunter's Guild team? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm trying not to think about it because I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming. Yeah, you. I don't want. Yeah, I don't want to get spoiled too. I much. think it's. I, clear, I think different. they're gonna have some range stuff. Well, we've seen Egbert with a bow, so I'm yeah. assuming she's going to have to. And I'd it. imagine it won't be like the engineers, it'll probably be a bit weaker and maybe like poison and things like that. Yeah. I don't know, but I think Salute isn't far off, so and, we may um, start seeing things soon. Which and in nice. the second Nevada video, they mentioned they determined, they mentioned markers, so as a specific thing that may be coming in the future. Yeah, did, did you notice the spoiler in the second well, era video? What, the, the model? There's a model, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, I did, but I can see a bit of white metal, I can't see much beyond <laughs> yeah. that. So yeah, it doesn't get much of it, but I think they're teasing us with that one, um, Steamforge. But I think you'll see over the next, because it's only April they come out, so you will see uh, some spoilers I think I think we've got to start seeing, because people are, people are going to want to see everything before they buy them. Yeah, especially so if the pre-order comes yeah, out. So I reckon we'll see it. So, Pat, you are an absolute legend. Thank you so much for all those questions. And we saw Jakar uh, in the artwork. Um, we did, yeah. The ball, big bald, killy thing it looks mm. like. So I'm we assuming did. he's going to be some big meathead, a bit like Boar, maybe. Mm. But we'll see. Um, Cheers, Pat. You're a legend. Joe Girard. Um, I'd love to hear you talk about engineers' issues. Uh, so very, very generally, engineers' yeah, issues. Um, um, yeah, we've, we, we've covered that. I think we're actually going to cover this in another video as to Dodgy, because I'm also this week 
even if by myself I'm going to do Meet the Engineers, so I will cover, uh, not to dodge the question, as I am going to address it, but I will cover it in that video, I think. Okay, you but, don't want to say any quick general ones. I think... Um, as much as it is their little trick, I think it's very easy to fall into the trap of investing too much influence into range. I think which, if you which, miss that, as soon like, as that yeah. misses, and if you've gone ballista salvo range, you've invested seven influence, no return. I mean, if you hit a model, you will get it. You may not get the damage result you want, or you may not get the dodge you want, but you will still get some return for that influence. Like ranged yeah. is great, but when it all goes wrong, if you're playing like a an alchemist team that's like death five everywhere and death four, it, it's easy to miss. Um, and yeah, my, that, that's my, the quick bit. My main one is them. Uh, they're quite easy at stopping VPs by locking people down it's all the time. It's gaining the VPs they, they struggle with. Um, Pin Vice looks like she helps with that. She we saw her rules last week. Getting the ball back. Yeah, a legend so is great. We'll see how, how they manage that. Mm. And you've been banging on about lack of two inch melee, so yeah. uh, that's quite a struggle, especially against a team like the Fish or someone. You just, it's really yeah, difficult. You, you've to, never got the opportunity. Yeah, you've got close control, but that's fine because you can't count, so they're just going to go hit, 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 tackle, yeah. hit, tackle, yeah. then I'm off. Uh, but anyway, we'll save that for me, the engineers, which I hope you'll all enjoy. Uh, do you want to do the next one? Yeah, Jesse H. Uh, what are your thoughts so far on Corsair? I don't really have many. I, I love Shark too. I've, I think he's good. I've actually used him a couple of times. He's a very good control player, but I just love Shark too much. I can't bring myself to use him, if I'm honest. What about you? Uh, he's growing on me, I must admit. He, he um, is a bit of a slow grow. You're seeing a lot more of him now. The more time goes by, and it's um, I think it's just getting your head around changing the style and not relying so much on Shark. Yeah, and yeah. the stuff that he Shark, his tidal surge is so amazing, Shark. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he can just literally get the ball and score from anywhere. Of course, obviously can't do that. The fact um, he can make Angel a twelve-inch kick. But I think just getting the best, better use out of Angel and Grayscales and Sakana. That's like awesome. if you measure it, that's the halfway line it is. in a straight line. Yeah, if she's if she's still oh. on the halfway line, she can score. Um, and then wow. you, you, if you do that early in a turn, she's set up there for the rest of the turn for snap shot. So if you can yeah, manage to just steal the ball back and pass it, she's on like five dice. Yeah, that is so incredible. I think what I'm quite liking at the moment is having um, Simon on one side and Corsair on the other. So wherever the ball comes back out after scoring, you've got an option to then get the ball back. You can seduce or... or mm. uh, and I think he um, isn't as influence hungry. So there's yep. a couple of games where he's been tied up and he, he goes first, knocks someone down, knocks someone down, and then walks off. And then you've got two momentum for lockdowns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's only taken two influence. And the rest of your team can then go to town. And if they don't have any momentum, they can't stand anybody up. They, yep. they, they're stuck there. And they've you've limited those two models moving. So he's good. Uh, still some way to go yet before I yeah. think he's... I'm going to use him better than Shark. Yeah, but. if if anyone Shark can just just bank you four VPs a turn quite easy. That's but it's just changing your mindset. It is. It is. I think you will see some great players with Corsair. If anyone is using Corsair to good effect, stick it in the comments. Let us know. Uh, next questions uh, or comments are from uh, Oliver Covent. So he's just talking about your femme fatale. Is he ranting us? Uh, yeah, he's saying, saying that decimates a female. I know. I always get decimate wrong, and I always get me strong. Do you know what? Just live with it. <laughs> I'll give up trying to correct myself. And then, if you haven't seen his chisel, he's painted her with pink hair. So his chisel is nice. He's just uh, talking about a chisel with pink hair. His chisel sexy. is very cool. Next up, we've got Ian Marley again. And he says, what is your personal favourite type of scenery to have on the table and why? Where do you like it placed on the pitch and why? What do you hate the most and why? So, what is your favourite type of scenery? Um, as a fish player, I love fast ground. Okay. Uh, uh, for me, as a Union player, cover. I love cover. Yep. I love Absolutely. mist. <laughs> where do you like it placed on the pitch? So if we're talking about cover, I like it right next to where Vitriol's deployed. That's yeah. usually <laughs> a nice place. In my deployment zone, <laughs> I can inch out from Next there. to Cicada <laughs> or Vitriol is perfect. <laughs> yeah. um, and which do you hate the most and why? I don't really hate any of the terrain. Um, Rough ground, we've all played with that long that it is. I don't. I sort of don't see terrain as an issue. I just accept it as what it yeah. is. Um, forests, I've, I've, again, because we we run more events than we play in, and I think us and the proper Gilborns are the only ones like massively using forests. We use them at Scaldic. Yeah. They can be quite a pain because you can draw a line of sight into but not through them. Yeah. But it, it, you lose a dice for kicking in them. Yeah, I, I like. I quite love the terrain. I've not got any issues. With if them. if I'm honest now. Um, if you try and play a game after you've been playing a game for a while, like now with with cover, if you go back to playing without, it really does change the game. Completely. Yeah, I don't like playing without. Uh, so I really do encourage people to play with. Tell you what, I do hate masons in cover. 
you may as well just throw half your dice and <laughs> in like there's some for armor, there's some for cover. I've got two left. And Vitriol with yeah. cover is brutal. It's the number of times I forget. She's my girl. Because your natural, um, mm. your natural um, go to is to just get within an inch of cover. And then Vitriol is like, oh, I'm there just standing away from the cover. Cause Here's a big pile of dice. Die. die. <laughs> um, we do love Vitriol. But yeah, I love the terrain. But cheers to the question. Ian, next up, is this you? It is me, yeah. Um, Hashtag Vitriol in Fish. Vitriol! Yeah, I think in the uh, in the Can last, you imagine vitriol? In the last show, oh it was God. who would you like? Uh, who would you like to borrow from another guild? So you'd have shark, yeah. salt, um, angel, sakana, grayscales, and vitriol. vitriol. Be amazing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go on, I'll read the next one. Next up, we've got Oliver Current again. He says, "I've got a question. When is Obulus getting a nerf? <laughs> keep it. Oh, well, well, we failed to keep it anonymous. Keep it anonymous. anonymous. You it. Um, I don't know." We have nothing to do with that sort of stuff. No. Does uh, he need it? Well. He is very, very good. He's but, good. You know, so all the captains. So uh, I wouldn't want all the captains to be getting nerfs to bring them back down to player levels. I think there's a point that they're captains. Yep, yeah, we like um, them. So yeah. You want them to, to shine, don't you? Next up is you. Oh, come on, I've got it. And you put, never copied your team's spunk face. <laughs> oh, yeah, and again in the last video. You, you copied back. my team at Doncaster. And I, and I dropped it after the first game. Yeah. I didn't play Gutter and Fangtooth. Who's your captain? I played Pure Fish. Who's your captain? <laughs> the same result. So there we go. <laughs> Gutter and Fangtooth are rubbish with fish. No, they are not. Um, fifth. Okay. Where'd you finish? Third. Yeah, you cheated. Has everyone noticed the massive cheating antics of Chris Hay on social media lately? <laughs> there's a, there's a, uh, a witch hunt going on here. Hey, the, fact, the facts don't lie, brother. <laughs> um, Gutter and Fangtooth are rubbish with fish. GBI Purcell. Yeah. Well, thank you for the question in helping add out this video. <laughs> and then last up, we've got Jamie Giblin, who was in the last episode till we lost the footage. Uh, fellow Vengeance TO, yes. organiser, yes. partner in crime, and he says needs more Giblin. Well, I strongly disagree. <laughs> we do not need any more Giblin we in don't. our lives. We are fine without you. Um, you crack on with Steam Fodgers and give us spoilers, please, because we like them. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> so that is it. We have worked through all the questions for On the Ball episode nine. I hope it's been at least remotely entertaining. So um, as you see, we've yeah. got we've got a few, not many that many questions. Pat Giles is keeping so, us going there. Yeah. Let's be so honest. get commenting, guys. Come on, guys. Ever, please in. just stick a comment in for two seconds. You can ask Chris what his favourite colour of ice cream is. Yeah. You can you can ask me what socks I'm wearing. Just just uh, let no. less. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's just have a chat. Um, so I really hope you've enjoyed this. Um, we enjoy making these, it's good to chat to you all, I think it's a good video. These are the style of video I like to watch when I'm painting or yeah. building models and stuff. Yeah. Um, so get involved for next week guys, and as always, comment, like, share and subscribe. And happy Gilpoli! Cheers guys! Cheers! Let's play a game!